How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Spirit Mod and Sacred Tools modded episode. So today, as I said in the last episode, we're going to be taking on the Starplate Raider and perhaps Jensen if we get to him. But, or is it? Jensen's a, a, a never mind. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do Starplate Raider first because that's just the Starplate Beacon. And let's check what we get from this. I don't want to rush things too much. So, because I saw some of you guys saying, like, you, um, I'm rushing. I'm kind of going fast. And I guess I'm used to Calamity bosses, or Calamity mod. Where there's, oh, I didn't, I never opened this. Let's open that. <laughs> where there's so many bosses that you just kind of, what did I, what did I quick stack? I quick stack something. Anyways, as I was saying, there's, there's so many bosses in Calamity, like, you're going at a decent pace if you do a b two bosses an episode, two or three bosses an episode. Kind of, sound, kind of sounds crazy, but yeah. So that's I'm, that's what I'm used to. So that's kind of how I do this. We got a yo-yo, by the way. Uh, that's actually a really look. It's got it's got scrolls. Oh my god, that's really cool. It's got Skeletron's face just there. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, it sh it shoots projectiles too. That's a really cool weapon. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so I think I might slow things down and go down to one one boss per episode and leave leave more of the things I would cut out for time and just instead of just only leaving like the juicy stuff in. But basically that's not to say that I'm going to not do as like I'm still going to be doing important things in each episode and all that stuff. I'm not going to be ever doing an episode without a boss fight unless it's like a preparation type of episode where I'm just preparing the whole time. So this one is says look toward the night sky. I'm assuming that means we have to wait till it's nighttime. I mean, it would make sense. Now, this is also a spear boss and so is Oh no, Jensen is actually a sacred tools boss. So it's another kind of harpy boss. So Starplay Beacon look towards the night sky. Use a Starplay Beacon at nighttime. So, we have to wait till night. So that means we can get back to our storage here. For those of you guys wondering, I don't know if any of you are wondering, but I'll be building my house in hard mode, or just before hard mode. So, probably once I get back from my trip, I'm gonna build my house, and yeah, that's how that's gonna be. So, yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Now, for now, I'm going to start transferring over some items and maybe making more stuff for the storage. I do need to mine for more silver. Because we do need all of that stuff. I'm just going to deposit all, and then I'll just grab the items I need. Uh, deposit all. Cool. Just going to loot all, and then deposit all. It's really nice, though, not having to worry about fall damage <laughs> so early on. Because in, in most of the mods, you don't get wings. Well, at least Calamity and Thorium. Or when is Thorium? I don't know. Calamity, I know for sure. You don't get wings until after Skeletron. It used to be beforehand, but that was a little bit cheap almost. It's really easy to kill some of those bosses with wings. As, as you saw with me killing Skeletron, it wasn't too difficult. But, and that's also because we have some really good gear that I did grind for. It did take me a while to grind for those weapons, which I didn't have to do, but I wanted to do it. Because they are... They were well worth my time, that's for sure. I'm running out of space. I might need to upgrade them sooner rather than later. So, anyways, as I was saying... Um... You got them pretty early on. Before... Right after Queen Bee, you could get them. Now, that being said, Queen Bee is... It's basically technically right before Skeletron. Usually there's not two bosses in between. But I know for a fact that Flaming Pumpkin fight was a lot easier because we had wings. So it's kinda it's kinda weird mixing mods. It can be a lot easier than normal. Than how the how it's played normally. If you were just to have vanilla terraria and then of course the mod. So what was I needing for the I need the Demon Knight, right? Or Oh, we only have seven here. I don't remember how you make the upgrades, actually. How do you make the upgrades? So, Demonite storage unit. We need Amethyst and Demonite bars. We need ten. So, we could fight the Eater. You know what? Let's go do that. Let's go fight the Eater again. Because that's a good way to get both Demonite and sh uh, Shadow Scales. Which, we don't need the Shadow Scales. But, still. 
it's a good way to get the demonite during the daytime. So we can also do this above ground, which is going to be nice. And to our left, it is. This is nice, though. It's kind of nice recording a bunch at the same time. Also a little bit. This is a, it's a big workload. You have to do a lot, but it's kind of fun just playing for such a long period of time. Uh, but yeah. I know editing is going to be a pain. So what I've chosen to do is record a ton and then edit a ton. Now, editing is like... Editing Let's Play episodes are very... It's very boring. Like, I don't mind doing the guides because you, there's a little bit of stuff that you have to do. Uh, but in Let's Play episodes, is basically just cutting and stuff. Well, at least the way I do it. And that's obviously to kind of save time. Um, so I can get more episodes out freak more frequently. But, yeah. Let's, let's just get this underway. Then I'll continue talking about that. But yeah, so... Oh man, this thing shreds this boss so badly. Kind of. In fact, I think this might be better. Oh, you know what? We can do a whirlpool there. Does this stay? Oh no, it disappears after a little bit. Oh, we uh, let's not die to this boss, if possible. If possible, we want to not get killed by the eater. This late into free hard mode. But yeah, so... Let's see. If we can do this. And then do the Umbra going on. There we go. I think we... Oh, I thought I trapped it. Dang it. Let's go over to this side. Once I get these hearts, that is. No. Yes. Yes. Come towards me like this. Perfect. Right there. Stop right there. No. Go back to where you were. Yet. Oh, okay. It's not going to work. We'll just have to kill it. It's kind of working. We're, we're trapping it pretty well here. It's almost dead. Let's just get the demonite. Oh my. Okay. Die. Please die. I'm actually low health. There we go. How much? We got 88 demonite. Which is actually pretty good. I think that's about what you would get if you were to fight the eye regularly. So that's not too bad. Let's go back. Oh, I want to show you guys something. So, when, whenever we kill a boss, I think it's every boss kill. Or at least it has a chance to do it every boss kill. I, you got these glyph things, and I never looked into them. But they're actually pretty important. They're probably in my magic storage, I'm just now realizing. Uh, but yeah, they're actually pretty important. And I'll show you guys why. So, let's get, just get the demonite. I'll get back to that in a second. More about that later. So, let's get the amethyst. If, well, we do not have, yeah, we do. Never mind. I thought we didn't, but we do. How much amethyst is it per? It is one. So we can actually get all the upgrades needed for these ones that we have, which is great. I think you just left click on them. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Let's upgrade the storage. And now it is 400. We doubled the capacity that we had before, which is great. And then I can finally get rid of all of those chests up top that have just kind of been preventing me from building up. So we can do that now with our little NPC kind of prison base. It's not really prison. They're actually more free than in most houses, technically. Well, at least the bottom ones are, not the top ones. They, they'll they kind of have to jump off, which they don't want to do. So let's put these all back in here. Okay, now what was I saying earlier? Oh, yeah, the glyphs. So we have 23 blank glyphs. Now, again, as I said, you could use these to enchant, enchant your weapons. Or did I say that? I don't know if I did, but I don't know how it works. The enchanter could probably use this. Okay, well, we don't actually have the enchanter. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can't do anything about this. But... It's actually pretty cool what you can do. I was looking around and I saw like a... If you put E in, chant... No, glyph. Uh, maybe, I don't know how I got it to show up, but I, there was like a honey glyph. Oh yeah, wax or bee or something like that. Um, I think I searched up bee. Uh, bee enchantment. So, oh no, that's, that's for Fargo's. No, it was like a, it was a glyph. I don't know how it works. I know you can, uh, you can enchant your stuff. I just don't know how to do it. 
Um, but yeah, while we're waiting for nighttime, I guess I can search it up. Okay, so how it works is you can actually buy, you can buy this, this things, the items you need from the enchanter. And I think you can get them right now. We need to have a blank glyph in our inventory in order for it to spawn. Luckily we do. So yeah, well, I'm just going to sit here and kind of wait because I don't think there's anything else we need to do right now. Yeah, maybe we could build some things. I don't know. I don't really know what I can do. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait. I'll wait patiently. Oh, you know what? Let's get some buffs ready. Let's get our buffs ready real quickly. Because we are gonna have to fight a boss soon, remember? So let's get these. Wrath and Rage. Did we have access to these before? I think Skeletron added those. I believe. I don't remember seeing them. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm very bad at remembering recipes uh, for these, especially potion recipes, because I've been so spoiled with this. Uh, cool. Let's put all of those into here. And... There we go. Do we have to be anywhere in order to it to spawn? Oh my god. I I never noticed this reference until now. Probably because I don't think I've ever seen this. No, I've have I gotten this before? I never really opened up presents. I don't think I've gotten this for a while, but I didn't really get this reference until now. That's got to be a reference to that. I, I, uh, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of him. Okay, so sadly no enchanter is going to spawn in today. But that is alright, because we still have them in the inventory. And in the glyphs, that is. So which means that it should spawn in. It, it, it's able to. So, well, in the next little bit... Now let's check what the spawning item is, because we have to wait till nighttime. We have it, don't we? Yeah, we do. So the star plate beacon, we could get two just in case. I, I usually like getting two, because especially with new bosses, you don't know really what to expect. So you don't know what to prepare for. So you kind of need one summon as like a test sometimes. Uh, depends on how good you're, how well you're prepared, obviously. Uh, do we actually have to be... It just says use at night time. So I'm just going to spawn it in our little arena here. And that should be good enough, hopefully. Now I need to light this up a lot more. Because I noticed while fighting it, this thing... Or while fighting one of the bosses a, few, a little while ago. I guess two episodes ago. It was really difficult to make out anything. So... Yeah, we're going to have to light this up a little bit more. It kind of kills the whole vibe. Because we have regular torches and then like the demon stuff, the obsidian torches and things like that. Doesn't really make his any sense, but I don't have obsidian left, so yeah. Okay, that's probably good enough. And we do have some meteors left. I think that, I don't think I trashed them. I, I wouldn't have done that. Uh, increases speed. Chocolate bar. Cool. That's the spirit mod exclusive. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll get rid of the pumpkin stuff because we do not need that. And now we wait. We wait until nighttime. Now, I'm kind of hoping we can do this on our first try. But I realize it's not exactly realistic. It's just turning nighttime now. So let me get my buffs from my money trough. And let's do that. I'm going to spawn it in. It's got 8k health. Oh, it's a worm boss. Another worm boss. Okay. Well, I can't really say that. Oh, it ricochets. Okay, we don't want to stay away from the ground. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down there, buddy. Calm down. Look how much damage we've already done to it. It's got a second phase, because it's only at 8k, and I think uh, Skeletron had more than that. And had, like, almost 9. The music's so loud. Oh my god, and it's doing so much damage, too. Wait, is that it? 
holy crap, that was, that was actually, like, difficult, because of how much damage it was doing. That was really loud, too. <laughs> that was really loud. That was, like, the quickest boss fight. I think I've done all, all series. That was, that was a really quick boss fight. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I think that was the quickest one we've done. That's actually pretty crazy. Okay, please die. These little minions will take forever. There were projectiles everywhere. And I was getting a debuff from something that was just very painful. Okay, powered by celestial energy. So there's a star plate, fragments. We have astral lens. Magic damage. Shoot out bursts of electrical stars. I don't know why I stumbled with that so much. That's pretty cool. It's not very accurate. And there's a vanity item. It's a... Uh, the mask. That's pretty cool. Okay, instead of fighting that boss again, we're actually going to fight a different boss. Let's just check this out. Astral Map increases movement speed by 10% and critical strike chance by 4%. Getting hurt spawns stars from the sky. Let the stars guide you. Interesting. So, 10% movement speed, 4% crit strike, and 2 defense base. That's pretty good. Mind you, I think I'll regen. Or, why don't we not have the worm scarf on? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Okay, before we do anything, I just want to fight the Flaming Pumpkin again. Because the Flaming Pumpkin... Uh, we want to... I want to get the... Where is it? Hold on. The armor set for it. There it is. The Dread Lantern. So we're going to do this fight again. I want to get the armor set for the Flaming Pumpkin. Let's go. Okay, so we're actually going to need our minion here. Oh, now the music's all loud. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Here we go. I'm actually gonna try and help out with my minion, or help my minion out, rather, with these, so it's a little bit quicker. There we go. And then we need to get rid of our minion here, and not get hit by the zombie. Move, you stupid zombie. Okay, there we go. So it's not, it's not too bad a uh, boss to actually dodge and watch out for. I say as I get hit. Of course, that always happens. Where's my minion? Let's get him out here. I'm just gonna let my minion deal with that. And then kinda just take some shots when I can. There we go. Okay, I'm actually taking damage now. I'm actually taking damage now. We gotta be careful. This part's the probably most annoying part, because you have to wait, you can't just keep on hitting the boss. So it's actually more difficult than just being able to do the same stuff every time. Ow. Okay, don't get hit by those things when they go down. Oh my. They do a lot of damage. Oh, I wonder if the boss is immune to poison. Let's try it out. Uh... I think it is. I'm gonna buff again. Cause I don't think I'm gonna die, and I think we need it. The boss, is, the boss fight's gonna drag on for a little bit longer. Okay. Let's just get away from all those. Uh, minion staff. Let's put one of these down. Eh. Minion, you can do it. There we go. There we go. Let's hit the let's hit the boss. We're kind of on the final stretch almost. It does have that next phase, remember. So I'm gonna kind of try and make sure I'm far away from it when that phase starts, as far as I can be while still being able to hit it. There we go. Cause yeah, now it starts moving. when things get a little bit more complicated and more hectic. I'm not even hitting it. <laughs> it's almost dead. It's almost dead. It's okay. I think we got this. I'm, I was pretty low there, though. I didn't realize how low I was. Ow. So it turns out, though, uh, you know the glitch I was talking about? Well, basically... That was 
Uh, you get them. It's a guaranteed chance from every first boss completion, and there's a chance you can get them from regular uh, enemies, but it's a small chance. So we got those again. We have the what we came for, and we have the trophy, which is all pretty cool. I don't think I put it here yet. Yeah, doesn't have walls, uh, so I, I won't bother with that. And then we have so we still have the astral lens, which I, we'll be able to actually use now that we have a magic set, or we will anyways. So where is where did I put it? It's in the magic storage, and it's called uh, where is it? There it is, dread flame. There we go. And I think we can get the full armor set now. Yes, okay, so we have the Dread Fire Mask. We have the Dread Fire Boots. And the Dread Fire Plate. So let's put this stuff on and see what it looks like. Dang, let's, well, I need to zoom up. Because that, I was putting a pretty zoomed out resolution there. That looks pretty cool. So let's look at the set bonus. The set bonus is pressing ability will activate Dread Fire Aura. Dread Fire Aura increases magic and mini damage greatly for a short time. And it's a three minute cooldown debuff. So, we can actually try that. I don't know if I've set an ability key. Give me a second. Um, ability key. Yeah, I have not. Seiko Tools ability key is going to be, it's going to be X. Because I don't think, yeah, I wouldn't use it for anything else. And then, cool. Okay, so I've just set the ability key. So we, we have now the Magic Conch and the Astral Lens, which is a really cool weapon, although its accuracy is decent. I'm assuming its damage is going to be great, like really good. So let's just check this out. I, I've set it to, I bound the key, so we can do that. So Oh dang, that, that lasts for a long time. That's a that's a whole one minute buff, and how much did that increase it? Or is it already? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, that happens over a long time. It said shortly, didn't it? I mean, maybe that's short compared to other buffs or something like that. I mean, I guess it's a pretty short time, but compared to the three minute cooldown, so technically you're only going to be two minutes without the buff. But yeah, this, it just makes everything more powerful. So there's nothing off, nothing you can really show off with it. So I'm actually going to keep this set um, on us, the coiled stuff, because it's still going to be my main set probably for fighting bosses, although I'll try it with more, more than one set. That's how this is going to kind of look. So I'm going to put it in here. And yeah, when we want to switch to that set, we just open up that. That's kind of how I'm going to play the, the mods. I'll have multiple sets. And then whenever I want to switch and use some magic weapons and some summon weapons, then I'll do that. And yeah, it'll be it'll be a good time. So that is going to be all there is for this episode. I think it's probably a shorter one. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I, I don't know. Well, I'll see when it's when I'm done editing. But yeah, that's going to be all for today. Next episode is probably going to be the last one where I'm actually away. And that's going to be the Jensen boss fight. And I don't think I'll be able to get Wall of Flesh in there. Because that one you have to, I have to prepare more for that. But yeah, that's that's it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.